What's up everyone, it's Nick McCullum here, and in this video we're going to be working through the practice problems on logical operators and if statements from my course on Python Fundamentals. Now, before we get started, be sure to subscribe to this video so that you can get all of my future content on how to become a better software developer. With that out of the way, let's dig into these practice problems on logical operators and if statements. We'll start with problem one, which says, test whether the following two variables are equal. Now, Testing equality in Python is very easy. We can simply use the equality operator, which is equals equals. And we put one variable on each side of this. It will return true if they are equal to each other, and it will return false if they are not equal to each other. As you can see by just looking at these variables, this is a much better way of assessing their equality than simply eyeballing it because they're long, and uh, you would really have to have some attention to detail. And actually, in the scope of computer science, you, you will inevitably encounter variables that are much, much larger than this. So. We'll type variable, sorry, var1 equals equals var2. And as you can see, they're actually not equal to each other, even though if you stare at them for long enough, you can almost convince yourself that they are. The different digit is actually here. This is a two and this is a three. So that's how to test equality in Python. We'll move on to problem two. Problem two says, use the inequality operator to prove that the following two variables are indeed different. Now, the inequality operator in Python is the exclamation mark followed by an equal sign. And uh, if you put a variable on either side of this operator, it will return true if the two variables are not equal to each other, and it will return false if they are equal to each other. So an easy way to think of this is that it's kind of the opposite of the equality operator. If this returns true, then this will return false. And if this returns true, then this will return false. So to uh, prove that these two variables are indeed different, we will write true, sorry, true bool is uh, unequal to false bool, and this should return true. Awesome, so that's problem two. Let's move on to problem three, which says, by using chained inequality operators, confirm that the three variables below each contain different values. So what does this mean? Basically, we're looking to write a Python statement that returns true to show that these are each uh, different from each other. So to do that, we'll write first meal, is not equal to second meal. Now, if these are different, this will return true. And then we'll write is not equal to third meal. Now, the only way that this entire statement will return true is, is if each variable contains a different value. And as you can see, they do each contain a different value. So if we run this code, it returns true, as you'd suspect. So that's problem three. Let's move on to problem four, which says using the variable below and the not operator, print false. So the not operator in Python, it's not even a special operator, it's just a special uh, word, like a, a predefined word in Python. We can write not, and then whatever we want here, and it will return the opposite of that uh, in terms of Boolean variables anyway. So an example, if, if we say not true, then we get false, and if we say not false, we get true. Now, uh, that also works as if you assign the Boolean value to a variable, so we can say not variable, and since variable is assigned the value true, then not variable will print false as desired. So that's problem four. Let's move on to problem five. Problem five says test whether the two variables are equal to each other. Store the value of this test in another variable called are they equal. To finish this problem, we'll start by writing the variable name. Are they equal? And then the assignment operator, which is the equal sign. Now on the right side of the assignment operator, we want to put an equality test to test whether these two variables here are equal to each other. To do that, we will say one equals, sorry, one equals equals two. Now, that's how we perform that question. We can show down here by using a print statement that are they equal is actually false, as you can see here. So that's problem five. Problem six says using the and operator, print true if all of these statements are true and print false otherwise. So to do this, we will write var one and var two and var three. Now the way you can think of this is um, you want to use the and operator to test whether all variables hold a true value. So as you can see, if you say true and true and true, that would be true. But if you say true and false and true, and you want to say, is that statement true? Then the answer would be false. We can print this to show that since there's even a single false value here, this entire chained and statement will return false as well. There you go. Let's move on to problem seven. Problem seven says using the or operator, print false if all three of these variables are false and print true otherwise. Now to do this, uh, we simply need to chain these together with an or operator like this. 
as you can see, since there's even a single true variable here, then the entire chained or statement returns true as well. Let's move on to problem eight. Problem eight says using comparison operators, an if statement and an else statement, print var one is greater than var two if that is the case, and var two is greater or e greater than or equal to var one otherwise. Now, as we saw in the lesson, to write an if statement, you need some kind of if, sorry, if statement, and then a colon, and then action. And uh, since this is actually going to be an else if statement, we'll write the else here, and then action two. Now, what are we testing first? Is variable one greater than variable two? So we can actually do that using variable one, and then the greater than sign, variable two. Now, what do we want to print if that is the case? This is what we want to print if variable one is greater than variable two. So that's the action associated with this if statement. We can actually just wrap this in a simple print statement like this, and this will give us the first step of this if else statement. On the second step, we need to print this other string here, which we can also do using a simple print statement like this. Now let's run this code a couple times with different variables for var1 and var2 to make sure that it's working properly. In this case, w since var2 is greater than or equal to var1, we would expect the second statement to run. So let's test it to make sure that it's working properly in that case. var2 is greater than or equal to var1. Perfect. Let's change var2 to actually be lesser than var1. We'll put it to zero. Run this again, it should print the other string. Awesome. It looks like the statement is working properly, so we are good to proceed. Problem nine says build an if elif else statement that prints one of the following three strings depending on the value of the variable number. The first string says number is less than 10. The second string says number is between 10 and 20 inclusive. The third string says number is greater than 20. Uh, and then the last line of this question says make sure the statement still works if number is exactly 10 or exactly 20. Awesome. Okay, so to do this, we will say... Um, First, we'll just map it out without any actual statements or actions, and then we will fill in the statement and actions after. So this is if action, and then elif action, and then else action. Now, what is the first statement? We'll actually just pursue this question in the number that this, sorry, in the order that the strings are listed in. So the first string says number is less than or is less than 10. That's going to be our action. We will print that. Now, as you can tell by this string, the action, sorry, the statement here is actually just going to be number is less than 10. So the first portion is done. The second string says number is between 10 and 20 inclusive. We can put that in a print statement here to finish the action for that step. And as you can tell by the hint here, we're gonna need an and statement. So one of these statements is going to be number is greater than or, greater than or equal to 10 and the other statement is going to be number is less than or equal to 20. So that's the second portion. And actually when I first wrote this out, I was missing the colon there. And then the last statement is just going to be to print this last string. So print this. Now let's test this out with different values for number to see if it's working properly. Numbers between 10 and 20 inclusive. Let's put it less than 10. Numbers less than 10, perfect. Let's put it to 21. Numbers greater than 20, perfect. Now, as you can see, there's a certain edge case here that many beginner Python developers won't catch, which is when number is exactly 10 or exactly 20. And it's really important to test to make sure it's working there. So we'll run 20 first. Number is between 10 and 20 inclusive. And then we'll run 10. Number is between 10 and 20 inclusive. Awesome, so this statement is working properly and problem nine is done. Now this concludes our practice problems on logical operators and if statements. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to subscribe if you want more Python content and just general software development content that will teach you to be a better engineer over time. Thanks again.